Do you get it, Marcus? Uh, Helga, you tell us. Yeah. Take it now. Yeah, more than one too. Okay. So the has been done. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Helga. Thank you for your assistance. Now people are relieved uh, if they don't want to use the the video. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, right, thank you so much uh, for uh, for uh, all those that are uh, also looking at uh, this uh, uh, event organized between uh, the UNCCD Secretary and the Center for um, Environment uh, Education for the signature of uh, an important tool that is going to be helping us with uh, uh, the partnership between these uh, two institutions. Without much more, uh, I would like to give the floor to uh, our uh, beloved focal point from uh, India, Mr. Jikimet Takpa, who has been uh, always very supportive uh, of this convention and uh, helped in the organization of the uh, conference of the parties that beautifully, beautifully India hosted uh, right now. It was like a one year ago, more or less. And imagine one year ago, we were all together there in, in Delhi negotiating this, uh, the uh, text of the, of the decisions. So Mr. Takpa, you have the floor for um, some opening remarks. Uh, so uh, I have to come twice or it is the opening remark or uh, what, how I go, you know, because I have to have a, another uh, five minutes. We are, have to talk about yeah. things. Maybe, uh, maybe Dick met, uh, you ah. can say a few words, then you come back there. That will be, uh, because he was number three. Yes, Marcus. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, say yes. Yeah. Should I make, uh, make no. the opening remark? Yes, yes. The no, thing? please, please make some more. And then you come back again. No, no, no. I'll they have one and I full all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I thank uh, Mr. Kartike uh, from CE and uh, Mr. Parthi Monga for inviting me for today's uh, online ceremony uh, for signing MOU between UNCCD and uh, CEE. So there's a big uh, event for CE and UNCCD and especially for India. It is a, we are highly fortunate that uh, CE has been signing an MOU with uh, UN organization. Uh, 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 one thing that I would, I'm so impressed by the whole organization is leader. And uh, I would say an institution is known by the, its leader. And especially Mr. Kartike Sarabai, uh, who comes from a legendary family, uh, uh, from uh, his uh, grandfather, a big uh, what called uh, freedom fighter and uh, philanthropist, and his father was the father of India's uh, space uh, agency, mother and sister, the great uh, Bharti. Uh, what called uh, Bharti Natyam dancer and social activist. So such a uh, uh, illustrious family and it is heading an institution and he could have gone for so many other uh, things, but he has chosen his passion for environment and uh, education. So it's a big, big uh, uh, step that therefore I feel, you know, is so passionate about the whole thing. And uh, he's heading the, he's the founder and director of the uh, center of uh, Education, uh, Environmental Education, and this center uh, for uh, uh, Environmental Education is an institution of excellence with a mission to excel at uh, national and international level with a cutting edge research and innovation and quality product and services in the field of environmental education, uh, awareness generates and education for sustainable development. So this was established in 1984 as a center for excellence for the Ministry of Environment and Forest with a mandate to promote environmental uh, awareness. CE develops innovative program and educational material and builds on capacity in the field of uh, education, sustainable development, uh, and works with uh, local stakeholder, national, international agencies and it, they work very closely with the forest department. Uh, when I was a DFO lay, I knew for the first time any organization it was CEE because they have drawn a sketch of snow leopard. It was so appealing. I wanted to know who has made this. And at the end, it was designed and developed by CEE, snow leopard sketch. So from there, I inquired about it and I met one person, 
uh, he was uh, Mr. Gangwar, uh, uh, and uh, I connected with him, and I, I was invited to see your campus. I was really all man by the work that you do, modeling and all these things. So uh, uh, publication, uh, models, uh, and outreach, it was amazing. So uh, she has played a uh, very uh, as a uh, nodal agency for uh, J projects that has worked with the UNDP, UNESCO, and they are working with uh, education for children, youth, uh, nature, cultural heritage, and one of the uh, big plus point of CE is that you know they develop uh, uh, nature and cultural heritage museums for the rest of the uh, states. So therefore, that, that kind of a thing that even uh, with Imam and Ministry, uh, they, uh, last, year, last, last year there was one project which, which was called Science Express. You know, it was collaborative work with CE and uh, Ministry of Environment, Forest, uh, Science and Technology Ministry and Railway. And that was a big, big, huge success. And that was about education and uh, education in the field of climate change. That was a big, big success. Uh, coming, coming, coming to the uh, CE, uh, CE is established as a center of excellence and nodal uh, national nodal agency for a decade for education for sustainable development in India. So with uh, with this mandate, I think that uh, UNCCD is uh, mandate is consistent with the uh, mandate of uh, CEE, particularly UNCCD's 2018-20. Uh, uh, 30 agenda it, uh, framework. So considering this mandate, CE uh, uh, and uh, considering this, what I feel that MOU being signed today between UNCCD and CEE will go a long way in establishing framework for cooperation in the field of achieving UNCCD strategic uh, objective and outcome, especially LDN. Uh, uh, targets and SDG goals, specifically the target 15.3 uh, and UNCCD communication plan for development of awareness education, especially in the uh, capacity building of different stakeholders. And it will be mutually benefit in the issue of common interest and uh, it can leverage the strength of uh, CE at global level for achieving uh, land degradation neutrality, combating desertification, achieving uh, sustainable goal, mitigating climate change and biodiversity loss across the globe. So I wish uh, both UNCCD as well as uh, CE all the best for a future collaborative work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think we can uh, give a, a virtual clap to this uh, amazing <laughs> presentation. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I, I need to speak more here and introduce uh, the other uh, other uh, participants, I think, Jigmet uh, has uh, done an, an excellent uh, word of um, of a presenter. So I want now to give the floor to our next speaker, uh, Mr. Kartikey Sarabi, that doesn't need uh, to be um, uh, introduced anymore after uh, after this, and is the founder and director of uh, CE. Uh, Kartikeya, you have the floor. Thank you so much, and thank you, Mr. Jigmet. I don't think I've ever heard a better introduction <laughs> than this to what CE does. And it really captures the whole spirit of that institution and, and what, what we are doing. I just want you to say that in the early days when the Ministry of Environment was still not formed, many of us were strongly arguing that unless education, communication, public awareness, public participation, becomes an integral part of a country's strategy to achieve sustainability, it is not going to work. You can pass laws, you can do all sorts of things, but it needs to be done. And this was the genesis of becoming a center of excellence, because I think the government of India and the ministry recognized that there is this need, whether it is, and not confined only to the formal system of education, but working with communities, as you were saying, the wonderful Snow Leopard project, which you, which you mentioned, uh, working in, in really remote areas and, uh, and really seeing how people can get involved because I think the commitment of local people in protecting the environment is a must and I think this was the genesis of it. Some years ago, I was doing an article looking at the three Rio conventions 
and what is the component of education in each one of these. And we worked with all of them. We worked very closely with uh, uh, UNFCCC and UNCCD, with whom we also have a have, have an MOU when they had their COP in India. Uh, but what, what, what was amazing when I did the literature survey was that UNCCD is one organization which is really understood that, that if you want to have the transformation, education, communication, public awareness is a must. And it is part of your vision document. It's part of the vision uh, to 2030. And I thought that in this case, be working in partnership, and we've always done that, working with the ministry, working with other NGOs, field level, ground level NGOs, working with, uh, working with UNCCD and others would be wonderful. I've known Pradeep Monga since, he was just reminding me, since 1996. And we've met in, in a variety of different uh, capacities, including requesting him to be one of the lead authors in, in one, of the, one of the early publications. In this field, and, um, um, and and he brings a certain very very personal and passion uh, to that work. And I, I hope, Pradeep, that we are signing this MOU, but you will continue to be associated with this MOU and the work done yes. for many many years uh, after this, as we as we really roll out the program. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy today to say that many of our board members and senior colleagues are also here to, to witness this. And there are many people who already sent me wishes just knowing that we are going to do this uh, work. And I must say from our side, we are really excited and, and thank you for this. Uh, so, so thank you again and uh, back to you, Marcos. Thank you so much, uh, Kartikeya. Another round of uh, virtual uh, applauses for uh, for you and for uh, what you are uh, you are uh, telling us. And uh, we are really looking forward to working with uh, your institution. And uh, because we know about your devotion to this uh, uh, topic of uh, environmental education, um, I will now give the floor to our uh, deputy executive secretary. I have to say that uh, this could be one of the last uh, uh, official uh, events that uh, Pradeep is, uh, is organizing. So we are all very honored to have him here with us. Um, Pradeep is going to take a, a very well-deserved retirement very soon. He will, uh, he will leave us, so we will cry, we will be very sad. But uh, he has been doing quite a lot of things from, uh, uh, with the Secretariat. He has uh, uh, been capital also to uh, bring the COP to, to his country, to India. It was a very successful uh, conference of the parties uh, last year where we were uh, opening uh, the convention to a uh, huge variety also of our partners. And uh, now we are bearing the fruits of, of that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pradeep. I want to use this opportunity to say it uh, publicly, but now I will give you the floor for your remarks on this, uh, on this uh, um, uh, partnership with SE. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Marcos, uh, for your kind words. Of course, Kartike, thank you once again uh, for your friendship and, of course, your kind words. Dear Kartike, dear Ashok, Sajigma Takwa, Board of CE colleagues from UNCCD and friends. Uh, it is my great pleasure today to welcome you to this virtual event of signing this memorandum of understanding between, of course, uh, Center for Environment Education and UNCCD Secretary. Uh, I'm very happy today that we are finally signing this strategic framework, MOU, because for me, working with Center for Environment Education is, has been always a pleasure. And for us, for UNCCD side, like Arteke rightly mentioned, uh, we put a lot of emphasis on education, on outreach, on communication, on advocacy, because investing in land means investing in our sustainable future. Since COP14 uh, last year, uh, which uh, we were very happy and proud that India hosted that so successfully, and of course credit goes to Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and uh, Mr. Jigme Takpa and so many colleagues there, we have been discussing ways and means to take concrete follow-up steps on the key outcomes. One was, of course, daily declaration, but also India legacy program 
a number of other recommendations made by parties at this COP14. And one area was how to enhance awareness, visibility, and convening power of UNCCD's mandate, which is sustainable land management for achieving SDGs and of course, climate action on the ground. And we do believe that when we talk about land degradation, desertification, and drought, there's no other place to go forward but a partner like CE for really having this a unique global partnership to really advance innovative concepts. CE over the years have developed so many innovations in education, communication, and of course, conservational practices and approaches. And this is where we would like through CE to reach out to this, uh, such a network and partners uh, of, uh, you know, of uh, sustainability issues, not only in India, but also around the world. And here, I think one of the unique point of CE, in my view, has been to deal with youth, millennials, and that's where we want to focus, especially through this collaboration. Uh, for us, when we talk about nature-based solutions, the role of education becomes very, very important. And that's where this raising awareness and understanding of general public for achieving environmental sustainability and of course, mainstreaming their national development goals. We are convinced that through education, we can reach out to those who will have the most impact in our efforts. We are talking about local communities, we are talking about women, we are talking about youth, but also we are talking about jobs. We are talking about livelihood opportunities, and we are also talking about incomes. And especially when we really look at now COVID pandemic, and we're already looking at post-COVID phase where the economies will be restarting, including Indian economy. We believe that education, awareness, skills, all this play a very important role when we talk about green jobs, green economy, and of course, uh, ecosystem services for the country like India. At UNCCD, like my colleague Marcos mentioned, we always emphasize education as key driver for land degradation, revitalizing the lands and of course, enhancing drought resilience. And that's where I feel partnerships and networks become so, so important. And uh, we have so many international dialogues, international partnerships, public private partnerships, policies. And here one area comes out very clearly is uh, there's a global partnership with institutions like CE. CE's contribution promoting global education for sustainable development and more particularly nature, nature education is very significant and acknowledged by all of us. And this is where I feel that strength comes out very clearly. I still recall when I met uh, Karthike for the first time in 95, 96, and it was so good to see how CE has been op operating in so many areas, especially of course that time it was more for the small grants program. But now I'm very happy to see from the reports I received from my colleagues uh, recently that CE has been really operating in arid and semi-arid regions, cold deserts, and so many other places where not only looking at uh, com uh, combating desertification, but also mitigating impacts of drought and of course land degradation. So for me, CE has been a natural partner and a friend for UN system, especially now for UNCCD. Uh, I sincerely believe that signature of this MOU today is only a beginning. And uh, while we are celebrating this uh, signature of MOUs between CE and UNCCD, uh, I do hope that uh, my colleagues in UNCCD will work very closely with Karthike and his wonderful team at CE to really take it forward. Because signing of MOU is simply a beginning of journey. I think we should be overtaking uh, together in coming weeks and months and of course years. And for me at personal level, since I'll be involved one way or the other with sustainability issues, energy environment, and sustainable development, I'm sure um, our paths will always cross. And uh, I'll be whatever way I can support this, these efforts, I will certainly do my bit, uh, even if I'll be almost uh, leaving UNCCD in the next two months' time. Uh, let me take this opportunity once again to thank Karthike for his leadership and support. And I could always know that uh, I can fall back on him, whatever work we did in UNCCD, including at COP14. And I must thank him. Of course, uh, I must thank uh, Ashok. Ashok has been a personal friend and a mentor for many of us. 
for three decades or more in India. And uh, as a chairman of CE, I would like to compliment him for his leadership and all CE board members who are present today to thank them uh, for the support they're giving to CE for this MOU and taking it forward. And for, uh, for our UNCCD side, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Takpa, who is our UNCCD focal point, uh, who has been a great supporter. And COP14 would not have been in India, but for his leadership and support. I'm very, very frank about it. As, as a focal point, he played the main role in bringing everything together at the operational level, which made our COP14 in India so successful. Of course, uh, I think I must also take this opportunity to thank my colleagues, especially Marcos, who is our focal point for CSO, and of course, dealing with the, with the uh, private sector and CSO, then he'll be in touch with, with, uh, with all of you for, for really taking it further, this MOU into concrete programs together and activities together in coming months and years. But I also would like to thank our colleagues like any Laura, Helga, especially Helga on the communication and Mahamdu for making it happen today. So once again, let me thank all of you. And uh, it's like Marco said, it is one of my last few official <laughs> uh, engagements. Uh, I'll be taking leave from next weekend onwards for two months before leaving UNCCD by end of November. But nevertheless, it has been a pleasure to work with partners like CE and of course, all NGO colleagues around the world who are really making, helping UNCCD in making this world a better place to live. Thank you once again. And I congratulate all colleagues and partners present today for this historic milestone, at least for UNCCD, for signing this MOU with Center for Environmental Education. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Deputy Executive Secretary, for, uh, for uh, your, uh, your kind words, words and uh, also for your uh, leadership in uh, the work that we have been doing, and particularly also in the signature of this, uh, this MOU. Uh, uh, Jigmet, would you like to say a few additional words, or you already? It's okay. So now on my uh, uh, agenda, we have uh, some closing remarks now by uh, Dr. Um, Ashok Kosla from uh, Development Alternatives, who is also the chairman of the CE. And now uh, we will give the, the floor to Dr. Kosla. The floor. Thank you. Thank you, Marcos. And thank you, Pradeep and Kartike and uh, Jigmet for having invited me. I'm very proud to be here as a representative of CEE, together with so many colleagues from the board, as well as from senior management of uh, the center. I would be very happy uh, to see Pradeep back in India, but frankly, uh, it's been a terrific ride that he has been able to do over the last couple of decades for the international community, what he was doing so well in India. And we missed you a lot. Now, we're hoping that we will get more to see more of you when you're back. I know I've seen Pradeep twice in the last week uh, on the screen. And on both occasions expressed, as I am doing now, my um, sincere uh, embarrassment that I haven't responded to his letter yet, but I will, <laughs> I will do so. Um, but uh, every time I get a chance to see you, it's a great pleasure. Uh, you know, uh, UNCCD, the poor cousin of the three Rio conventions, was um, for a long time kind of sidetracked and forgotten by the international community, which was much more interested in its own problems, because its own problems were defined by the rich, by the people who were the powerful, the nations that had already destroyed everything else. But in their, in their terms, things like climate change and biodiversity, to a lesser extent, were the important things. And it took a long time, it took a long time with the leadership uh, of, uh, of uh, people like Pradeep to bring the issues of land degradation, desertification on the map to an extent where it is now front and center. Now, today, uh, this is not just a third convention. It is a convention in its own right that is making a huge impact on uh, things that matter to very large numbers of people. 
Uh, UNCCB is one of my favorite organizations from the beginning. And I must admit that when I was in the UN, in UNEP, and have been associated with, with things like the International Resource Panel, uh, the work of UNCCD struck me as being, in the more immediate term, as important as anything the UN does. So uh, it's wonderful that CEE is able to make a, a formal relationship, uh, one that has existed informally for many, many years, uh, that will hopefully make a very big difference. You know, the international agencies like, like yours in Bonn, are, are very important for generating, mobilizing uh, commitments by countries, uh, for generating broader knowledge systems, for developing global networks, and doing things that really are fundamentally important in mobilizing uh, a, a movement towards a better world. But it's, it's at the community that really the action is. And so while international agencies and countries and national governments have key roles to play in formulating policies and in creating infrastructure and in mobilizing finance, financial systems, it's at the community that the real action takes place, where the rubber really hits the road. And it's where it is imperative that better awareness and knowledge and skills exist. And that is exactly what CE does. So this partnership is so important and so powerful because of the synergies of the big, of the global, with the local at the community level. And CE has got world class, probably as good as any, any institution in the world, uh, ability to not only communicate, not only mobilize, but actually imbue the kind of passion in, in, in uh, individuals and movements that is needed in order for us to bring about change. So I'm very proud of the fact that CE has been chosen as, as one of the major partners of CC, human CCD. Uh, it is uh, enshrined, it will be enshrined in a signed MOU in a few minutes. And I would be uh, very happy that when, uh, Pradeep, you get back to India, we see a lot of you uh, and we will make sure that these issues stay front and center in the minds of everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Ashok. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kosla, for your, uh, for your kind words and uh, particularly for uh, um, the, uh, recognizing the importance of, of this convention, which at the end is also the importance of land, the importance of land when we are talking about development, when we are talking about uh, uh, poverty eradication when we are talking about the protection of the environment. I uh, really, really appreciate what you are, uh, you are saying. With uh, all these uh, uh, nice uh, statements, we uh, uh, have finalized the first part. Now we are going to go to the second part, which will be the signature of the uh, um, uh, MOU that uh, we have there. We can see in one of the cameras, the one that says uh, Mamadou, Tari is where uh, uh, Pradeep Monga is uh, signing on behalf of the UNCCD Secretariat. Uh, Kartikeya is doing the, the same thing on behalf of the CE, is showing it uh, to us right now. So now we will have to exchange them. Unfortunately, uh, this will take some time. It depends on the post uh, service of uh, Germany and, uh, and India when we will have the, the final documents. And I see already people clapping for uh, this, uh, this uh, um, nice moment in which uh, we are uh, certifying and having the uh, agreement between the two institutions. I said, we are finishing the second part. The third part of this will be, of course, the implementation. So we are going to be working closely with uh, the team of uh, our, our now sister organization, CEE, and uh, preparing the work program and see how we can work uh, uh, all of us uh, together. Uh, since we have more people connected now, can I ask again to have the video the, uh, for each one of us? Like this, we can take a, a, a picture with a 
everybody. I can see now we have uh, more than 25 participants. So we can uh, take uh, uh, all of us uh, in the image. So Priya Nair and Madhavi, if they can connect. Ah, okay, we can see more people there. So I think we can also make some connection between the images taken before and now. Yes. Yeah, Helga is also taking a screenshot <laughs> of the agreement. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we will we will be preparing some. Uh, um, uh, there is a press release that the secretariat is going to be issued. We are taking some quotes from those uh, distinguished uh, participants and that we had uh, uh, today. I will be contacting Jikmet uh, Takpa and uh, Dr. Koshla also to have some clearance on the, on the quote that we want to put there. And in a couple of hours, it will be already available, but al already some of the images, we will put them on the, on the social media and we will share also with uh, the CE. Marcos, I see you on the screen and the other people appear very small. Is there a way to change the view so that I have a mosaic of all the faces in the same size maybe? Is I, th I think you need to uh, go for uh, in Pradeep's uh, computer and change speaker view and uh, gallery. you can have the gallery view. Gallery, gallery. Where is that from? Where? On the top. Top, top right. Top right. Oh, there you go. Gallery view. There you go, beautiful. If everyone could turn their yeah, cameras please, on. Please uh, turn on the, these yeah. cameras once again. Could we request all colleagues, especially CE team and wonderful team I can see and board members. Laura, why don't you put on your... <laughs> also, good. Okay. Please, uh, I, I can see a number of colleagues. Priya, Naim, Anuja, Kavita, Art, please put on yourself. It will be good to see that screen full. And I look forward to seeing you soon in India <laughs> as COVID is done <laughs> under control. Okay. All right. Move this to Here. close this panel. Yes, yeah, I can close it. Yes. So thank you. Thank you very much from, from my side also, uh, Pradeep. Uh, and, and the whole team at UNCCD, and especially Mr. Jigmet, and of course my our chairman Ashok and some of the board members. It's been it's been wonderful, yeah. and I must say that this period when things are locked down and there's general depression, it's <laughs> nice to make things. It's nice to make new beginnings and and say what we are going to do, and really start new initiatives. So it's been wonderful, and we look forward to closely working with all of you. Yes, Karthik, same here from UNCCD side. Thank you so much once again for this new beginning. We have been collaborating earlier, but I, this MOU will further strengthen uh, institutional cooperation. And on personal side, I'm very happy that uh, one of the institutions, I started working in UN system when I started in 96, almost 24 years back. I am ending my UN career again with the institution like CE, where uh, really I can see the results on the ground very soon. Thank you all and look forward to seeing you in India, maybe hopefully early next year. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. All right. I have a few.